Good with everyone. We will talk today about Surah 65, verse number 4. This Surah is talking about divorcing women and part of it about divorcing girls who they are very young, uh, which means they are children because they never have their period. Now, when you, as a God, allow the Muslims and talking about Muslims, what you need to do for uh, divorcing women and you consider little girls as women and you are telling them about divorcing children it's when you allow them to marry children because you will not be in the case of divorcing children if you don't uh, marry them in the, in, in the front we have to marry first then we can talk about divorce I can divorce you before I marry you right so uh, uh, the Quran in here is saying that uh, and this is the explanation of Ibn Abbas as you see we don't explain the Quran and we will never do so we go and we show people what Muslim scholars explain and now we will see Muslims running away from the explanation and you say you know like do, have we, do we have to agree with this guy interpretation this is not my interpretation Ibn Abbas is your Imam this is one of the biggest scholars who, wrote, who, who ever spoke about Hadith and Quran one of the best friends actually this guy he is the loved person of your Prophet the beloved person he love him to death. You know that. So you don't go and run away from the explanation saying. And by the way, the Quran is saying that it's not him. Those who never reach their period because they never have it. They are so young. Now he's saying, in this case, what about the waiting period for those who never have their period because what? Because they are too young. Do you see it? Too. Young, they are too young. Well, it's the same case. Still, they have to wait for three months. You know, this is showing us the ignorance of Islam and the ignorance of the God, their God. If a little girl, she never had a period. As long as she never had a period, it means she will never get a bread net. But sound the God of Islam, he don't know that. Same as the case, why she have to wait for three periods when one period will prove, if the women have one period, will prove that she is not a Britney. Sound the God of Islam don't know that. He, know, he need to go to school. But the case now we are talking about how Allah is saying, you as a little girl, you can get married and get divorced even before you get your period, which means Allah approving the marriage of little children. Now let us go and see more. Muslims will say to you, that Aisha should marry the Prophet because her father, her father, he gave her to to Muhammad. I, I want to see that. I want to see where, where, Abu Bakr, the father of Aisha, he did that. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is the book of the Nukah, F word book. This is the chapter name, the marriage of very young to adult. Asigar, asigar means the very young, not only a, a young. A cigar, you know, we say we say cigar in Arabic. Huh? Uh, uh, the, uh, the Arabic is very uh, rich language, so cigar always go for very young people. Uh, <coughs> like in English, in English there is uh, there is a child, there is youth, etc. So, uh, the Prophet came to ask for Aisha to engage to her to marry her. Abu Bakr, he said to him, what he said, إِنَّمَا أَنَا أَخُوكَ Man, I am your brother. Abu Bakr is surprising and you know, he's, he's, he's like, he don't want to do it. He's trying to avoid this. This guy is 54 years old, she is 6 years old girl and he want to have sex with her. He said to him, but I am your brother. What Muhammad he said, he said, you are my brother in the deen in the religion of Allah. You are my brother in the religion of Allah only, not in reality. By the deen and by the book. You are my brother by Allah and by his book only. And hiya li halal. She is mine. Don't try. Wa hiya li halal. And she is not forbidden for me. She is mine. So you will see from this hadith that Muhammad is forcing this guy to give him his daughter. Not as Muslims will tell you, oh, their parents, they gave her to her. You know, uh, no one will give his little kid as a gift. What, a gift? She's, a, she's, she's not a goat. You don't give your daughter, a six years old girl, uh, you know, to someone. She, what, she's a goat? 
And in here, we, you know, if we ask Muslims, they will say, oh, the Muslim women, she have to be asked before she get married. This is not true. Because, did they ask Aisha in here? She is six years old about if she is going to marry or not? Did, did they? You know, the fact in Islam, if a woman, or so, sorry, if a little girl, she is under the age of period or a maturity, you know, her parents, they can make the order, they can make the decision. This is an ask an imam, ask an imam or. This is the fatwa. Fatwa number 12696. 127, sorry, 12796. From Pakistan. Wednesday, September 29, 2004. This is your Islamic website. What is the minimum age of women to get married? He is answering. If the girl she has attended adult, you know, a period of time, she can, she, you know, it's it's needed to ask her to marry from the uh, the man of her choice. But by the way, this fatwa is wrong, you know, because she will be asked, but still her parents have to be approved. According to Islam, only the women she is not a virgin, which means she did marry before, she can make a decision without a father. If you are still a virgin, you never get married before, still your father have to approve, or your male family member have to approve your marriage. So the answer in here is not, cor not, not very much accurate, you know, but uh, kind of correct. In here, he's saying, second, if the girl married before having her period, her marriage, you know, will be invalid until her father approve the nikah. So the girl, the girl, she can get married by her father's decision, not by her decision, because she can't make decision. So if your father make a decision, you will go and get, get married. And now how old is she? She can be six, she can be seven, she can be nine, she can be ten, it doesn't matter. Your father, he give you up as Ibn, you know, as what Muhammad did to Ibn Kathir as you see in here, sorry, uh, to, to, to Abu Bakr. As Muhammad did to Abu Bakr, the father of Aisha. He forced him to give him his daughter. This is a fatwa, this is a fatwa about having sex with the children, you know, this is a fatwa, this is the Imam, and this is coming from the consulting of Imams and the scholars of Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's talking about having sexual relationship with kids. They are saying the Prophet he used to do put his private part between the legs of Aisha when she was at the age of six. And because she was so young, and she's small, she's little. This is why he used to put his private part and molest her between her legs. And he satisfied. And he do it lightly and softly. Man, very soft man. Lovely. And he's saying, and this is because the Prophet, the Prophet, he have control of his private part, not like the others. You know, what kind of man he have control if he is doing that to a little girl? If you have a control, you know, don't do it. If you have a control, if you have a control of your, uh, 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 you know, uh, body, if you don't want to be horny like, like, uh, uh, like crazy, and if you have a control really, why you are doing that to a little kid? So the Muslims, they say, the Prophet, he have control. But I don't see control. I see this guy, he want to have sex. Even with children. So I want to ask Muslims. Again, this is the explanation of the verse. And by the way, you don't have to go by this explanation. They, all of them agree. You can go to a Jalalain. You see, this is your website. A Jalalain saying the same. It's allowed to have sexual desire, sexual you know, marriage with little children. It's okay in Islam. So I am not the one saying that. It is your religion. It's your God. It's you know. It's your your interpretation. And Muslims cannot come to me and say, "Oh, it's not me. It's not you. You cannot decision for us. We have to go by the scholar. This is your scholar. You see it? Because they are young. So they are allowed in you to marry and divorce very young girls. So Islam, at the end of the day, allowed 
child molestation, child sexual abuse, and this is cannot be from God. You know, if you think so, if you think so, let me know. And by the way, maybe somebody will say to me, "Hey, hey, hey! Did you hear about those priests who was uh, doing child molestation?" I will say yes. But are you comparing your prophet to those animals? The Lord, He said, the one who harmed the little one, He will burn in hell. And those priests who did ever, ever touch a little child for sexual purpose, they will be burned in hell, as the Lord, He said. They are the Antichrist. Now, the, the Lord, He said, the, the one who will do that to little girls or little boys, He will be burned. Now, your prophet, according to my Lord Jesus Christ, He will burn in hell because He is doing this to Aisha. And this is from your book. And those priests, I'm sure they will be in the same hell with your prophet. Thank you.